Let's take a look at South Chatham Tackle's new motorized line spooler. We've had a lot of requests from customers wanting to put line on their reels with a great deal of drag. So in order to do that we've designed this new machine and we've incorporated a disc brake that is adjustable allows you to tighten down tension uh, it's spring loaded so it continuously keeps the same amount of tension that you preset it to. In order to preset it, it's simple. We use a typical little uh, spring scale. Just hook it on the line here, stretch it out, and get the desired, tighten until you get the desired tension that you want. And in this case, um, I'm using about 15 pounds of drag. Um, I've just put a bunch of uh, braided line on here and I know that the line manufacturer puts his line on his bulk spools using about 20 pounds of drag so I want to be right in that ballpark I don't want to be over it um, we've got a line counter here it's digital it allows you to read in yards and tenths of a yard and it has a simple push button for resetting it and this is our track wheel that runs right on the spool gives you a very accurate reading of the line you're putting on. Uh, reel mounting is pretty universal. Uh, it'll handle small reels up to 80s and 130s. Uh, we know that uh, it, it handles these reels easily. Um, Don Parr at Canyon Reels has been field testing this unit for several months now and he's spooled hundreds of reels and uh, found that it works pretty good so he does 30s this is a 50 and he does 80s and 130s also so he doesn't have any problem uh, putting line on reels it has a manual level wind that allows you to distribute the line evenly back and forth as you're spooling the line on um, this wheel is universal. It moves up and down uh, to various different positions to accommodate different reels that have crossbars in different places. You can see on this one we're running the line onto the back side of the reel and installing that way. Um, you can also do left-handed reels. Um, you can move the wheel up here and put line on left-handed reels easily. It'll accommodate fly reels. We found that you can put backing on saltwater reels uh, very easily. Uh, large fly reels, small fly reels uh, works works very well. Uh, the uh, drill motor that we have is a DeWalt drill motor. It comes with the unit. Um, it has a gear reduction drive on it which allows us to get lots of torque because when you tighten this down get a lot of drag on it you really need some torque to crank this handle and uh, so this machine uh, drill motor handles that no problems at all uh, works pretty good we have tabletop mounting capabilities we've drilled screw holes and we supply hardware that allow you to bolt it down to a tabletop if you want workbench although it's not necessary uh, it works pretty good just sitting here uh, it can be bolted down and it gives it a little bit more rigidity and a little more strength um, it uh, comes with a lot of ex or, I'm sorry it doesn't come with a lot of accessories we have a lot of accessories available uh, we have a foot pedal we have different drives uh, for there are a few situations where uh, custom reel handles are huge and there might be two speed reels that have uh, knobs in the way so we, we try to accommodate them so we do have some uh, different drivers but uh, we found that this particular one handles just about every reel that we've tried um, and uh, so we have uh, accessories available um, in this particular case, I put. I'm going to show you uh, it running here. I've, in this particular case, I put uh, 15 pounds of drag on, and I'm going to put a little bit of line on for you and show you how we do it. 
Um, I'm using the manual mode, which I find is easy. Uh, the foot control works very well, but uh, the manual I like also. I mean, uh, it works pretty good for me. So you just get everything set up, get your tension right, get it going. Using your level line, you put it on evenly. Can't get any easier than this. There we go. Finished it up and we're done. This is the basic unit. Comes with a drill, mounting brackets, mounting bolts, uh, everything you see here. It's all ball bearings. Uh, real brake pads. Um, the rod here will accommodate just about all bulk spools align. So we've pretty much got you covered uh, on respooling those big conventional reels.